And hey, well this is Francisco from One to Share Dr. Phone. And if you've got an iPhone that's stuck on Reboot Loop, then we are here to help you out in order to be able to solve that issue. So here are going to be five methods of fixing that exact same issue. Let's go ahead and dive right in. And if you like this video, then do make sure to go ahead and leave us a like and comment any of your questions down below as we move forward. Also, go ahead and share this video with whoever is in need of it and subscribe for more content just like this. Now, let's get right into it. So why does the iPhone get stuck on Reboot Loop? There could be plenty of reasons for the iPhone Reboot Loop happening. And before we go ahead and explore the different ways to solving that issue, the iPhone boot loop problem for instance, it is important to understand what causes this issue beforehand. So most of the time, a bad update can lead to the occurrence of an iPhone reboot loop. And if you aren't updating your iOS device or version and the process gets halted in between, then it might cause this issue as well. There are going to be times when even after completing the update, your iPhone might still malfunction and have have this issue. And if you have a jailbroken device, then chances are that it could have been affected by a malware attack, since your device is, is more vulnerable when jailbroken. Now, not to download apps from unreliable sources, as it can make your iPhone stuck in the boot loop much easier to happen. And when updating with iTunes as well, better connection between an iPhone and your computer can also lead to the iPhone getting stuck on the boot loop, where the update gets stuck halfway through and is pretty much unable to pick up where it left off. And if you have a jailbroken device, then chances are that it could have been affected by malware attack. Now, I'll try not to download any kind of unreliable sources or apps from any kind of unreliable sources because it can make your iPhone get stuck on boot loop and that's just not good. And at times, a malfunctioning iPhone can actually be in that state due to driver issues. Now, thankfully, there are going to be plenty of ways to overcome this and let's go ahead and uncover them just one step at a time. So method number one, force restore your iPhone in order to fix the boot loop issue. Now, this is going to be one of the easiest solutions in order to break the iPhone reboot loop. I simply go ahead and force restart your iPhone in order to reset its power cycle. So for iPhones 8 and later devices like the iPhone 10s, Max 11, just go ahead and press and quickly release the volume up and then do the exact same thing for the, for the volume down key and then press the side key or the sleep wake button until your iPhone starts again and then that should go ahead and fix that issue for you. Now for iPhone 6, 6s or earlier this can be done by long pressing the home button and sleep wake button at the same time for at least 10 seconds and then your iPhone will vibrate and break the reboot loop from there. And if you have an iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, then the process is just going to be a little bit different. So here, just go ahead and press the volume down and the sleep wake button simultaneously to force restart your device. And as for method number two, this is going to be for how to fix this issue using iTunes. And by taking the assistance of iTunes, you can go ahead and break the iPhone boot loop and restore this iPhone as well. And even after putting your device on recovery mode or DFU mode and device firmware update mode, that is, and you can follow this method in order to restore your device. But first, make sure that your iTunes is in fact on the latest version, first and foremost. And to learn how to fix this issue, I'll be using iTunes, go ahead and follow these steps coming right up. So go ahead and connect your iPhone onto your computer with a lightning cable and then launch iTunes from there. And within a few seconds, iTunes is going to detect that a problem is in fact occurring within your device and display the following pop-up message as well. All that you have to do from here is just go ahead and click on the restart button in order to resolve this issue. And if you don't get the above window, you can just manually restore your device as well from here. So just click on summary and then click on restore iPhone from there. And just wait a little while as iTunes is going to restore your, your device and then you should be pretty good to go from there. And now for method number three, how to fix an iPhone boot loop with iOS system recovery. And by following most of the other solutions in order to break the iPhone boot loop, you might actually end up losing your data. Therefore, if you wish to recover your iPhone that is stuck on the boot loop without experiencing any kind of data loss whatsoever, then you should go ahead and give Dr. Phone System Repair Tool a try. It is going to be a widely known software in order to resolve various iOS related issues like black screen, white Apple logo, restart loop, and many more. It's going to be part of the Dr. Phone Toolkit or suite and is compatible with all of the leading iOS devices and versions. 
So first things first, I just go onto Dr. Phone's website and then download our software from there. And install it onto your system, which is going to be available both for Windows and Mac, and then go ahead and launch it whenever you're ready. And then choose System Repair in order to start the process. Out of all of the provided options on the home menu, as you can see, there are going to be two optional modes in order for you to fix the iPhone reboot loop problem. And after you enter the System Repair module, go ahead and click on the first mode, which in this case is going to be standard mode. And as the following window pops up, I just go ahead and type in your iOS device's information, such as the model and the correct version of iOS as well. And then once you're done, go ahead and click on the start button. And then just wait for a little while as the application will download the respective firmware for your device. And make sure that your devices are connected to the system during this entire process and maintain a stable internet connection as well. And after downloading the firmware, go ahead and click on fix now, and then just give the application a little bit of time in order to go ahead and fix your iPhone. And then from here, your iPhone is going to reboot again. And after the process completely finishes, it's going to be brought back onto its normal mode as per usual. And after the following screen shows up, you can check if your iPhone has been placed into a normal state. You can simply go ahead and disconnect your iPhone safely and you shouldn't have any issues whatsoever from here. And if you still end up having issues, you can just go ahead and press on the try again button and it should be able to resolve that from there. And as for method number four, you can also just go ahead and factory reset your iPhone. If nothing else works, and you can always choose to factory reset your iPhone completely in order to break its reboot loop. Though while doing so, your phone's data will be wiped off completely. And if you have taken its backup on iTunes or anything like that, then it can be restored afterwards. That is probably the safest bet to go about it if you want your data back. To recover from the iPhone reboot loop, go ahead and follow these steps coming right up. So firstly, go ahead and take a lightning cable and connect that to your iPhone. Now, don't connect the other end to anything yet. And then afterward, just go ahead and long press the home button on your device for a few seconds while connecting it to your system. And now go ahead and launch iTunes in your system in order to put your phone into recovery mode and it will display the iTunes symbol on your screen as you just simply let go of the home button from there depending on what device you're using and if you have turned on the recovery mode on your device and you can just restore its backup with iTunes from there as well so that's going to be super simple to do and lastly for method number five you can go ahead and clean your app data so rarely the unsecured app will cause an iPhone stuck on the boot loop screen for instance so we advise you not to download an app from unknown companies or not download from the Apple Store. It may cause your iPhone to misbehave in this sense. So what I'm trying to say here is just to keep your downloads within the App Store if possible. Uh, so go ahead and check whether the issue of the iPhone boot loop is being caused by your app when your phone can enter the settings. So just go ahead and tap on settings, then privacy, analytics, and then analytics data menu. And then see if any apps are listed repeatedly. So go ahead and uninstall it if that's the case. And then you'll be able to clean its data to check whether the iPhone reboot loop issue is fixed from here. And that's it. Those have been five methods of fixing an iPhone that's stuck on reboot loop. And if you like this video, do make sure to leave us a like because that would really help us out a lot. And comment any other questions down below as we would be more than happy to help you out. Share this video with others and most importantly, subscribe for more content just like this. So until next time, enjoy.